So hello folks, have you ever wanted to use one of these keyboards with your Windows computer instead of one of these, but also wanted to retain the function keys? For example, the media controls. Well, here you've come to the right video. I'm going to show you step by step on how to get the Apple keyboard working on your Windows computer, all the way from pairing up with your computer, installing the drivers, and getting everything to work perfectly. Well, let's get started. Now this video is going to be split into three parts. Number one is pairing the actual keyboard to your Windows computer. The second part is downloading the required bootcamp drivers. And the third part would be fine-tuning the registry settings to make the keys work as intended. So let's start with the first step. So in this example, I'm going to be using my Apple wireless keyboard. These are the first generation that accepts two AA batteries and not the rechargeable one. So first thing you have to do to connect to your computer is to load up the Bluetooth settings. So it's located inside your taskbar and Bluetooth. Show Bluetooth devices and this will open up this window. In order to pair this keyboard to your to your Windows computer or pretty much any device in general, all you have to do is turn on the keyboard. This will work with this model or the newer model. In the newer models, you have to flip on the switch. In this, in this model, just press the power button. You tap the power button and, and you will see a green light flashing. Hit new device, click on Bluetooth, and it should detect your keyboard. Connecting the keyboard will prompt you to enter a key. Simply enter the key and hit the return key and this keyboard will start to connect to your computer. Once the keyboard is connected, you'll realize that a lot of the keys will work out of the box. For example, most keys you can type on them and everything will work. However, however, the function keys will not work. For example, if I hit Control Alt Delete, this will not work. Control Alt Function Delete, this will not work. So this will actually uh, cause a lot of issues because you won't be able to use the page up, page down key, home end keys, because they are all tied to the function key. So a lot of things will not work. So here I'm going to show you how to get the necessary drivers and get the function keys working. All right, so in order to make this to work, you need to get the official Apple Bootcamp drivers installed on your Windows computer. So what we have to do is firstly download the driver. However, Apple removed links from their websites. You can no longer easily download the Bootcamp drivers, at least the latest ones. So in this case, we will get help from this application. This is called Brigadier. This is an open source application that fetches the bootcamp drivers from Apple servers. Download this and alongside with 7-zip and we'll be able to get the Apple drive. Now I'm gonna show you how to use the app Brigadier to download the bootcamp drivers. Now all you have to do is fire up the command line. I'm gonna use Windows plus run and type in CMD. Now here we have the uh, command line window. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. All right, now we're zoomed in. Now all we have to do is navigate to the, uh, the folder where you saved Brigadier. In this case, it's in my downloads folder. Once I'm in the downloads folder, I'm gonna see the Brigadier. You can see the Brigadier uh, ex executive file is here, but you can't run it just by double clicking. You have to run it from the command line in order to set parameters. Now I have this folder downloaded here because I already downloaded the bootcamp drivers I need it, but I'm still gonna show you again how to, the commands and how to work. What you do is type in brigadier.exe, sorry, brigadier.exe. Now if you tap dash H, you can see 
the help of this application what uh, what parameters you can add all you have to do is use this M parameter to specify the system model so you're gonna hit Brigadier dash M and you can use a you could try out many different bootcamp drivers the one that I found working on my Windows 11 22 h2 version and my wireless keyboard is the one from is the one from the MacBook Air 7 comma 2 and once you have that click enter you can see that's using Mac model 7 comma 2 and this supports the following models and it's going to start fetching the files from Apple servers now I will zoom the video once the download has completed. So now we're near the end of the download process. And once it finished downloading, it's gonna use 7-zip to extract the files because it, when you download it, it's in a Mac format uh, and it's not readable by Windows. So this application automates the process to extracting and unpacking all the drivers. And and once it unpacks everything, it's gonna be in the Brigadier folder, which in my case is located in downloads, Brigadier, and as you can see here is the boot camp drivers. So once everything has finished, this uh, this folder will populate like the one right here. This is the same folder that I downloaded. I downloaded beforehand so I can show you, I don't have to wait for the download to finish. And if you go into boot camp and double click on the bootcamp XML file and if you load it up with notepad you can see that here is the bootcamp version this is version 6.0.6136 okay while I was talking uh, the extraction has completed as you can see it has done and it will be in the folder as you can see looks the folder looks like this and the next step is to actually install the drivers. If you go into the bootcamp folder and close out this window here, click on bootcamp. And uh, if you were to install on a real Mac, let's say the MacBook Air 7.2, if you're actually gonna be installing on a MacBook Air 7.2, you would run the setup.exe file. However, when we run it, you can see that bootcamp does not support this computer because this is not a Mac. You can only install these official bootcamp drivers on Macs. It's okay, with, but because we can go into drivers and head over to Apple, and all we have to do is install, double click on Apple Keyboard Installer 64.exe. Double click on this driver, hit yes, and this will bring up the uh, driver installation wizard next i accept next and this will install the apple keyboard as you can see this is the 2015 driver so if you have installed the drivers this uh the keyboard should now work however if you're like me that after installing the drivers the keys still do not work uh, as you can see i still can't get the control or delete going on this is this might be called that you have installed other drivers, other keyboard drivers that you know you have been hunting down the web trying to get this keyboard to work. Install all different kinds of drivers on GitHub, and they will interfere with the actual keyboard driver, actual bootcamp drivers from Apple. So here you have to do is go into settings, head over to applications, installed applications, and you want to scroll down until you find the keyboard drivers as you can see if we scroll down here i've installed an older version of the driver here's the apple keyboard this is the 2012 bootcamp 5.0.3 and here's the bootcamp 5.1.6 that we just installed today today's date is january 1st of 2023 happy new year and here is another driver that i installed from github okay so this driver is the one causing the issue. All you have to do is uninstall any driver that you might have. Just want to uninstall any driver you might have. 
uh, that might interfere with the actual keyboard driver. Just uninstall it. All right, once that uninstalls, I might as well uninstall my old driver. Okay, so now this is this 2015 driver should be the only one you have in this drop down menu. Now, once you have that, this should now work. As you can see, now the uh, volume keys are now working. And if you hit con function, control, alt, delete, this will bring up the control, alt, delete menu. However, we want to have the if you if you're happy with this behavior where you just tap on these uh the function keys this will uh toggle them you'll be you'll be done to this part of the video however i want to be able to hold the function key and then access the keys to use the media keys in, and then use the function keys as standard fn uh, standard f1 to f12 keys so now we have to uh modify some registry settings Now, in order to modify the registry settings, all you have to do is hit Windows R, type in reg edit, R E G E D I T, yes, and this will bring up the registry settings. Now, I'm zoom in a little bit. Now, once you get to this window, you're going to navigate to the following path HQ local machine, system, control set 001, services, and you're gonna scroll all the way down until you find K Sorry. key magic. And you can find a entry called OS 10 FN behavior. It's gonna default to 01. So you wanna double click on it. And you're gonna change 01 to 00. Hit enter. And just to double check, you wanna go into the same HQ local machine. This time, instead of control set 001, current control set, services, the same key magic, go to K, key magic, and then make sure the OS 10 FN behavior is also 00. Now, once that's done, all you have to do is reboot your computer. So now after a quick reboot, you can see the keyboard is still working. And this will actually connect automatically just like a real Mac. So you can use this keyboard to type in your login password, everything, so everything would work. But here I wanna show you that the function keys are now working, the media keys are now working, the, the volume keys, the brightness keys also do work, but this will probably only work on laptops. And the media keys will also work. The control alt delete. So it works. No problem and uh, these keys will function just as intended as you can see I hit the F5 key it'll refresh so now the keyboard is fully working you can finally use your Apple keyboard with your Windows computer with all functionalities thank you